Welcome to Lorcana Academy. Today is episode two of our starter deck series where we try to figure out which is the best starter deck for your money. Today, Nerd Girl's gonna be playing Veggie. How are you feeling about it? I feel great. My starter deck is gonna take Veggie out. Terrifying. And if you wanna get in the game, you can head on over to coolstuffinc.com where you can buy all the Lorcana singles that you need. Use the code ACADEMY for 5% off your order at checkout. That's enough from us. Let's go ahead and get into the game. I'm Veggie Wagon, and today I am again playing the Amber and Amethyst starter deck. What I learned from last game versus Zebex is that this deck draws cards very well. So if I can make it long enough to gain a bunch more cards than my opponent and land Dr. Vasilia on the board, it's going to be a wrap. Hi, I'm MTG Nerd Girl, and today I'm playing the Ruby and Emerald deck. I'm going to be playing a bunch of evasive creatures that Veggie won't be able to stop and deal with Veggie's creatures with the most premium removal. All right, Veggie. Let's see who goes first. Huh. Oh my, <laughs> even in this show, I can't go first. I won with a six. Well, since I'm going first, I'm gonna let you know that I will be altering my hand by zero. Wow. I do not need any change to this hand. I was considering altering my hand by seven. <laughs> <laughs> I was considering uh, it. See, it's better to be lucky than to be good. Um, But I think I will alter by four. So I'll put four at the bottom, I will redraw four cards, and then I will shuffle all of these together. All right, Veggie, I'm ready to go. Okay, I'm going to Ink Stitch and use it to play Olaf, Friendly Snowman. So one strength and three willpower. I'll pass you. All right. I'm going to Ink Shield of Virtue, and I'm going to use it to play... Sergeant Tibbs. Mm -hmm. See, this is what I was planning for. It was like, I could play the Stitch. I could do this the other way around, but I get two quests out of Olaf before you can take him out. Quite possibly. Hmm. Go ahead. All right. I will already, and I'll draw. I'm going to, uh, look, ink this Stitch. I will pay two for Minnie Mouse, and then we're going to send Olaf on a quest. I'm already feeling a little bit behind here. I mean, hey, I won first. Shouldn't have rolled that one. I'm going to go ahead and ink this Vicious Betrayal. Mm -hmm. And we're going to tap two and play a Stolen Scimitar. It allows me to make my creatures have one more or two more attack, depending if they are an Aladdin character. Oh, now I see what you're saying. All right, then I'll pass the turn. You're not even going to hit Olaf? I don't think it's worth it. And he looks like he's so happy. Thank you for looking happy, Olaf. Draw? Now I'm worried. I feel like I have to be extra cautious. I am going to ink Sven. Hopefully I won't regret that later. Uh, and I'm just going to spend three to play friends on the other side. And I'm going to draw two cards. Okay. With that scimitar out, I don't think I can. I don't think I can send anybody on a quest right now. We'll, we'll we'll hope that Olaf's happy face deters you for a little while longer. I will send him on a quest, and I'll pass. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and ink. He's got a sword, and for three, I'm going to play Mickey Mouse, who's got a big butt. Now I definitely can't quest with Olaf. And now that I have a little bit more of a board. I will go ahead and use the sword on Sergeant Tibbs to come after the wonderful snowman. Oh, how does he even hold that thing? Sergeant Tibbs will have one damage on him, and then I'll pass turn. Okay. Draw. I'm going to ink control your temper, and I am going to have Minnie challenge Sergeant Tibbs. So she will take two damage. And then just in case you get any funny ideas, I'm gonna spend four for Jafar Wicked Sorcerer, which has Challenger three, so uh, he he can put on the hurt. Okay. I'll pass. I'm gonna go ahead and ink the Duke of Wesselton. Pay four ink to play Pongo. He's evasive and can quest for two. Great, I don't, I can't hit that. No. And then I will pass the turn. Let me ready my stuff. That scimitar just sitting there is causing me so many problems and <laughs> making me do so much more math in my head. 
I'm going to ink this magic broom. We're going to make it a Jafar party. Wow. Yeah. Okay. But that's about where the party ends. Uh, I'm I'm not going to quest with them. I will pass to you. All right. I'm going to go ahead and ink a Horus. And I'm going to pay four and just play another Pongo. Mm. I will also go on a quest for two lore. Okay. And I will pass the turn. How do I catch up to this? How do I, or really, how do I stop what's going on there? Because you have two characters that I can't interact with. And even if I could, I get hit back pretty hard. I'm a fan of evasive creatures. I'm going to ink this Mickey Mouse. And then I'm going to play Ariel on human legs. Quest for two, three, four, but can't sing songs. And you know what? I'm going to send Minnie on a quest. Okay. I'm going to go to three. Pass. I think I have enough evasive creatures on the board, and I like the cards in my hand a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and ink this Peter Pan. I will pay six for a Rapunzel. Ah! And when Rapunzel comes into play, each opponent is going to lose one lore. Great. And then I will go ahead and just send Pongo and his twin brother on quests for four lore. And then I think I'll pass the turn. Okay. I This, I think, is my only shot. So I'm going to ink Minnie Mouse. Uh, and then I'm going to spend seven ink. Seven ink for... Dr. Facilier. Okay, here we go. If you can if you can beat this, then I I do not have any other answers, but any time that any of my characters are uh, banished in a challenge, you just go right back to my hand. And I think that means that I should just do this. I'm gonna send everybody on a quest. That's gonna give me one, two, three, four, five. Your turn. I think at this point, the way I win is by just having Pongo carry me to victory. So I need to slow you down, which I think if they go back to your hand, that's not the end of the world if I'm the one getting good value out of it. So I think I just need to race you to the finish line. So I'm going to go ahead and go on a quest with Rapunzel and my two Pongos and go up six lore. Okay. Yeah, I do feel like Pongo would probably beat Jafar in a race. So seems good for you. So that means I need eight lore next turn. So I'm going to go ahead and play a shield of virtue. I will go ahead and pay three to exert my shield of virtue to untap my Rapunzel. So now I just have to stop Veggie from being on a shorter clock than me. So I'm going to go ahead and use the stolen scimitar onto Mickey Mouse. Mm -hmm. And we are going to challenge Ariel. Yeah, with that extra boost, it does take her out. And... Mickey Mouse, unfortunately, will have three points of damage. Huh. Silly me. I almost put her I almost put her in the discard. That's going to go right back in my hand. <laughs> and also, and then I will go ahead and use Rapunzel to challenge one of your Jafar. Yeah. And that works especially good since I don't get the boost for Challenger. Back to my hand. All right. That's going to do it for me. Rapunzel will get two points of damage. As long as Pongo stay alive, I think we've got this in the bag. We'll see about that definitely have to take care of some of your characters right now. So I'm going to have mini challenge Rapunzel for that extra two damage. And this will go back to my hand. Uh, then I will have Jafar challenge Mickey. And he'll take three damage. Ink that mini that went back to my hand. I'm going to spend four to play Ariel at once more. And then another four to play Jetsum, Ursula's spy. This has evasive. Oh. So I can use this to challenge your pongos when I get the chance. Um, and if I get the pair of them, of Jet, uh, Flotsam and Jetsum, then they give each other abilities. Okay. Uh, finally, we'll send Dr. Facilier on a quest to bring me up to 10. I'll pass it over to you. All right. I think I need a creature now to win now that you have Jetsum on board, unfortunately. I'm going to go on a quest with the Pongo twins. Four. You can challenge one of those. Mm -hmm. But I should still be able to get there with the Mad Hatter and a Pongo on board. Uh. So I think this is this is it, Veggie. You either got an answer or you're dead. 
the deck will provide. All right. So to me? To you, good luck. <sighs> oh, no. I don't think that does it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I get there. So uh, the best I've got, we're definitely going to have Jetsam challenge one of your Pongos. Uh, it'll take two damage. I will send uh, the rest of the team on quests for a total of six to tie it up. We'll play Moana for five, um, which would ready my other princesses, but is a little bit late and I will just have to pass it over to you. All right. I think that means I can go ahead and quest for five, taking me to 21 lore. That's game one. This time we're going to deal with those pongos right away and I'll have plenty of cards left to not have to worry about it. This is really greedy. Be careful. I was very confident in my hand last game. Oh no, I'm still getting rid of cards, but I am keeping, I am, I'm being greedy. I, I'm also being greedy. I'm going to alter by two. I'm going to alter by three. Okay. Good luck. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm going to start by inking this dingle hopper and I will spend it to play a stitch. Pass to you. I'm going to ink a vicious betrayal and I will play a Sergeant Tibbs. Pass to you. Ready and draw. I'm going to ink this Dr. Facilier. It's the charlatan one, not the big one. Not the scary one. Not the scary one. That's unfortunate. And then I'll pay two for Yzma, Alchemist. When this character quests, I look at the top card of my deck and then I can put it either on the bottom or leave it on top. Okay. And let's send Stitch on a quest. I'll go up one, pass. Let's draw. Not liking where I'm at so far, I'm gonna go ahead and ink this Aladdin. And I think I need to slow the game down. So Sergeant Tibbs is going to come after Stitch <sighs> yeah, and a challenge. Feeling. Both to the discard. But I think you're doing all right because I'm gonna pass the turn. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Another Dingle Hopper goes into the inkwell. I'm going to pay two to play Be Our Guest. I'm gonna look at the top four of the deck and reveal a character and put that in my hand. Okay. Two, three, four. I'm going to reveal Maximus. Put that into my hand. Uh, the rest go on the bottom. And then I will spend one more to play Pascal, my own evasive character. Cute. We'll send Yzma on a quest. So I will gain one lore and then I'm going to look at the top card and uh, I will leave that on top. All right. Pass to you. Let's draw. I'm going to go ahead and put a horse into my inkwell and I will pay three for a Mickey Mouse. Okay. All right. I'm on the board. Pass turn. I'm going to start off paying two for another Be Our Guest. All right. It's a reprise. I'll look at the top four. Be our guest. Be our guest. Put our service to the test. And these cars are not the best. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to take this Ariel on human legs, put these on the bottom. I'm going to put uh, Sven into the inkwell, and then we're just going to send Pascal on a little quest since he's evasive okay. and pass. I'm going to go ahead and ink my Aladdin. I'm going to pay three for a Jasper. When Jasper quests, he can prevent somebody else from questing on your board by puppy napping it. In this uh, case, chameleon napping. That is a good way to deal with this. <sighs> it sure is. And then I myself will go ahead and quest with Mickey Mouse. And then I will pass turn. Mm. All right. I think this will help inform me on what I should do first. I'm going to send Yzma on a quest. So I'll go up one and take a look at this top card. I am going to leave that on top. Not what I wanted, but I think not what I don't wanted. Okay. Checks out. Yeah. Uh, I'm mean, just going to pay four for that aerial on human legs that I've got. And I guess we'll send Pascal on his, I think, final quest for a little while. <laughs> Pass to you. I'm going to go ahead and put a Horus into my inkwell. I'm going to use Jasper to go on a quest. And I'm going to use him to make Pascal not go on a quest. And then I'm going to use Mickey Mouse to kill Yzma in a challenge. Mm. All right. Well, two damage on Mickey. Mickey will indeed have two damage. 
And then I'm gonna spend three ink to sing a song and I'm gonna sing Mother Knows Best. And we're going to put Ariel back into your hand. Oh, that's... Mm. The tempo play, baby. And then I'll pass the turn. Okay. This is this is very bad. I think it's fine. Now I definitely regret leaving this card on top. <laughs> You're going down, veggie. I think I am going down. I was hoping that I could wait until I had the full combo, but I do not think that I can wait. I am going to ink Ariel on human legs. I'm going to spend five for Flotsam. Hmm. So this is a three, four with Rush. I am actually going to use both of these to challenge Jasper. Wow, I did not see that coming. Huh. Interesting. So Pascal will eat it. Flotsam will have two damage marked. And uh, that is that is my turn. All right. I'm going to ink Aladdin Prince Ali. Just going to quest with Mickey Mouse. Mm -hmm. And I will pay six for Rapunzel. She's a five four. She quests for two. And she's going to make you lose a lore counter. Yeah, she is. And then I will pass the turn. Okay. I'm just going to take a little look through my discard pile. Wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> what, could I, what could that be? Hmm. We're going to pay three and finally play that Maximus that I've been holding on to. Uh, when I play Maximus, I can give a chosen character minus two strength. So we're going to minus two Mickey Mouse. Okay. And then we are going to have Flotsam challenge Mickey. That's pretty good. Another thing I really did not see coming. That's unfortunate. So that should knock Mickey Mouse to the discard pile and mark one more damage on Flotsam. Yep. The problem is, that's all I've got for the turn. Cards in hand? Yes. Three of them. Three. That's too many. All right. I think I need to get control of this board. So I'm going to pay five and I'm going to dragon fire your three three. Mm. We're going to dragon fire the Maximus. Okay to the discard. And I will use Rapunzel to attack Flotsam. All right. Yeah, that's three damage, and all of my characters are in the bin. She will get uh, a damage, three damage counters put on her, and I'll pass turn. All right. Exactly as I planned. I'm going to ink this mini Mouse. I'm going to pay three for Rafiki. It has Rush, so I'm going to immediately use it to challenge Rapunzel. All right. They will trade. Then I'm just going to spend my other three to play friends on the other side and draw two cards. That's my turn. I'm going to go ahead and play a Horus and a Duke of Wesselton. They're both vanilla creatures. Pass. Solid recovery. Okay. Where are my rares? <laughs> You're telling me that's the only way I win these. I'm going to pay three for Mickey Mouse True Friend. Three, three quests for two. We will take that. Uh, and three more for the wardrobe, a three, four, but only quest for one. Pass mm. to you. I'll go ahead and pay five, and I will again dragon fire your wardrobe. Uh, all right. I'm going to tie things up, and I'm going to have Horus go on a quest. Mm -hmm. Pass turn. Very, very tempted to challenge that. You have one card in hand? Two. Oh my goodness. I'm going to ink this stitch. I'm going to send Mickey on a quest for two. And I will play for four another Mickey Mouse. Wayward Sorcerer, uh, three, four, does quest for two, makes my brooms cost one less. And if one of my brooms is banished in a challenge, it just goes right back to my hand. Okay. All of my brooms. <laughs> He's pass. pretty good, right? He's pretty good, if you have brooms. We'll pay five, and we're going to dragon fire Mickey. Ah! Uh, this one, right? Nope, not that this one. This one? Nope. Okay, so we're going to take this one and... Well, you will take that one, too, because Horus will come across yeah. and get, uh, get Mickey, and I will go on a quest for one with Duke of Wesselton. And cards in hand? One. Great. We're, like, almost even. Go. Almost even. Three. 
Friends on the other side. I'm going to draw two. Okay. I'm down a half a card because I have two and a half. Almost even. Four. I'm going to play Hades, Lord of the Underworld. I, where are my rares? <laughs> this is bullshit, <laughs> Reggie. Does your deck have more than mine? I have played zero in all three games. So pro tip, make sure to remove all the rares from your opponent's deck before starting the game. All right. What does Hades do? When you play this character, return a character card from your discard pile to your hand. Okay. So we're just going to take a little look through here. That's a really nice one. Yes, it is. I'm going to find my rares and you're going to be in trouble. I get to play my rares twice before you get to play yours. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I've played zero. I'm going to grab this uh, Mickey Wayward Sorcerer back to my hand. Mm-hmm. And that's my turn. All right. Let's draw some good stuff. I'm going to go on a quest with the Duke of Wesselton, and I'm going to go ahead and play a Peter Pan. And I'll pass the turn. Four. We're going to play that Mickey. One. There's a magic broom. Um, when I play this character, I do shuffle a card from any discard pile into its uh, player's deck. I'm going to choose mine. I think at this point, I'd just be very, very happy to draw another friends on the other side. So I'll shuffle that in. Uh, and then I will send Hades on a quest. Go to seven and pass. All right, Duke of Wesselton is going to come and challenge Hades. They trade. I will go on a quest with Peter Pan. And I'm gonna go ahead and tap six and play a rare finally. We're gonna play Stitch. He's He's got a big booty, so it uh, doesn't do anything, but he's got the big butt, so we'll pass the turn. <sighs> yeah, that is, that is going to be tricky to deal with. I will... Send this magic broom on a quest to go to eight. Uh, I will pay three for part of your world. I can return a character from my discard to my hand. I'm going to return Hades. Your deck is gross. My deck, I have not drawn an extra card. I haven't done anything. Your deck is seriously gross. Yeah, I, I like how in this one in particular, they included a lot of magnets on the rare, so they get to the top of the deck well, so you draw just them beyond or? that the card draw and like the getting extra cards out of your graveyard like i don't have anything like that yeah uh, i'll spend my remaining four to then play hades uh i'm gonna grab flotsam put that okay. in my hand He's, that's the rush one that is the rush one that's all i can do for now Pass. okay so i'm gonna go ahead and just pay one and play a sergeant tibbs mm -hmm. i'm also going to pay three I'm going to Mother Knows Best your Mickey Mouse. So it'll get returned to your hand. Okay. And that'll allow me to come in uh, with Stitch to challenge your magic broom. Ah, uh, and then it doesn't go back to my hand. It, it just goes right there. It will eventually. And then I will put two points of damage and I'm going to go on a quest with Peter Pan. I'm hoping to get a three for one on the Stitch. Me? Yep, all you. I don't think I can let that stitch stick around as much as it's going to take all of my resources. Um, so I'm going to ink this Dinglehopper. I'm going to pay five for Flotsam. I guess we're going to use both of these to take out Stitch. Three for one helps with the card advantage a little bit. And then I can't go down that many cards, so I am going to play friends on the other side. <laughs> oh my gosh. Draw two and pass it to you. Stop it, Veggie. Okay, we're going to quest for two. And I'm going to tap three and play another Peter Pan. Mm. And I'll go ahead and pass the turn. Okay, definitely going to start off with a Rafiki with Rush and challenge Sergeant Tibbs. Mark two damage here. Yikes. And then pay one for Stitch of my own and one for Hey Hey. I will pass. All right, now we got Twin Peter Pans. We're going to just quest for two. Can't do anything about that. And I will play a Duke of Wesselton and pass turn. I'm going to pay one for Pascal, which has evasive if I have another creature. Cute. I will send Rafiki and Stitch on a quest to go to 10 and that is my turn. Well, I don't like anything that is happening. My last couple draws have been pretty bad. 
So I think I'm just, I'm just in all the way and we're going to go ahead and go on quests all around. All right. And I'll pass the turn. It does put you close, so I have to do I have to do stuff about it. Well, for sure, I've got to send Hey Hey on a quest, and use uh, the support ability. Oh, it's that's so good. I thought it was either or. I didn't think you could do both. Yeah. Jeez. I get because it, it's when right. Yeah, when this quest, when this quest. So uh, it'll add one to Pascal's strength, and then I'll use it to challenge a Peter Pan. I'll have Stitch challenge the Duke of Wesselton. I will quest with Rafiki for one. I will play the Mickey Mouse that has been in my hand that I forgot about last time. And why not? We'll also play Minnie to go along with Mickey. Okay. To you. I'm going to go ahead and play Aladdin. Prince Ali. Can't do much else. So we're going to go ahead and just go on a quest. All right. And I'll pass the turn. I think we just got to... We got to go for it. Uh, I'm going to just quest with the team. Okay. So that is one, two, three, four, five. Going to go to 17. Uh, and then I'll also just play this Olaf. And uh, that's you. Okay. So I need to kill three things, which I don't think I can do with just two creatures on board. Yep. That's going to do it. I can't. These spells don't oh. do anything. All right. Game three. Game three. All right. I'll take the play. I'm going to go ahead and pitch three cards. Here's the one card that I will be altering. Oh, boy. Good. Ready when you are. I'm going to go ahead and ink my Aladdin Street Rat, and I'm just going to go ahead and play a Duke of Wesselton. Pass. I'm going to draw, and I'm not going to fall for that like I did in the first game. I'm going to ink Olaf this time to be able to play Stitch, and then I will pass to you. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and just ink a second Duke of Wesselton, and I will go on a quest. Okay. Pass turn. I will ink the wardrobe. Um, I will trade with your Duke of Wesselton by challenging, and I'm gonna play two cards. One, it's another Stitch, and two, a Pascal. And to you. All right. Let's draw. I'm gonna go ahead and ink the scar and I will play a steamboat Mickey. Mm -hmm. And pass turn. Okay. Makes it a little risky for me to quest here. I'm going to ink this Minnie Mouse, pay three for a Mickey Mouse, and then just send Pascal on a quest for one. All right. Pass to you. I'm gonna go ahead and ink a Sergeant Tibbs. I'm going to go on a quest for one as well. And let's just go ahead and play another Steamboat Mickey. Pass turn. Uh, this seems this seems good. I'm going to spend three for Maximus. I'm going to give your Mickey minus two strength, and then I'm going to challenge it with both Mickey Mouse and Stitch. That seems pretty good. That's going to mark one damage on each of them. Uh, I will send Pascal on a quest. Hopefully I don't need that effect again because I will be inking control your temper to you. I'm going to go ahead and just ink Cruella de Vil. I think it's a little too late for her. Mm. I'm going to cast Stampede and deal two damage to your Mickey. Unfortunately, that is a two for one for me, but I can't really do anything about it. And I will also uh, go ahead and challenge your Stitch. Mm -hmm. That's going to do it. I'll pass her. Okay. I'll pay four for Ariel on human legs. Um, I will send Pascal on a quest for one. And I will ink uh, Dinglehopper and pass to you. All right. I will go on a quest. I'm going to pay three for Mother Knows Best. And we're going to return Ariel to your hand. Back to my hand. And I'll pass her. Well, we'll put her back down. Send Pascal on a quest for four and pass it to you. All right, let's go ahead and just pay one for the Shield of Virtue. I will go on a quest. And I will continue doing basically nothing with another Mother's Nose Best. We'll bounce Ariel back to your hand again. She returns once again. Pass the turn. Oh, hey, look, it's Ariel on human legs. Mm -hmm. uh, I will ink Magic Broom. 
and then spend the final two for Dr. Facilier Charlatan, which has Challenger 2. Uh, and we will send Pascal on a quest and uh, Maximus on a quest. I'll go to six. All right. Let's draw some good cards. Let's go on a quest with Mickey Mouse. I'm going to pay three for the Shield of Virtue to untap him and make make him ready. We will play Megara, which gives Mickey Mouse plus some attack. Pass. Okay. Don't think I can kill Maximus at this point. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. I'll spend four for Cinderella, Singer 5, so it can uh, pay for higher cost songs and I can uh, exert her to remove three damage from a princess. And she quests for two. She does quest for two. It's four mana card and she has a five butt. Mm -hmm. (laughs) This seems so busted. (laughs) All right, Sergeant Tibbs off the top. I'm gonna go ahead and go on a quest for two. I'm going to pay three to ready Megara. I'm going to have Megara attack Ariel uh, by challenging her. All right. She will die. And I will pay one for a stampede to do two more damage to Ariel. She's out of there. (laughs) Pass the turn. Send in the team. One, two, three, four, five. I'll pay three for a friends on the other side to draw two. Uh, Pass over to you. That'll do it. Ooh. None of these cards stop stop you. I can quest and make you lose one lore, which was not anything. And then I can... Man, that deck is hard to keep up with. Yeah. Much better than I first thought. Yeah, I think we have a contender for the best deck. Mm-hmm. Man, that looked really rough. Was it as bad as it looked from over here? Yeah, that was pretty rough. I couldn't keep up with all of Veggie's card draw, but that's okay. I think my deck can redeem itself in the loser's bracket to be the second best starter deck. Yeah, except this time I'm going to be playing the deck that z lost with last time. I don't think you're going to win that one. Well, maybe Veggie didn't go down, but you are certainly going down. No, you're going down. Well, no. Well, maybe. But you can go down to CoolStuffInc.com where you can pick up all of your Lorcana singles and sealed product. Use code ACADEMY for 5% off your order. Well, that was the bell. So what are you still doing here? Get to class. <laughs>